What's going on guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your second XHTML and CSS tutorial. Now before we get started, what I want you guys to do is open a new file and you can do this in one of two ways. You can either press file and then click new or you can just click this little new icon right there and it's going to open up a new blank file. So once you do that, your program or file should look blank just like mine basically. So go ahead and uh, before you start typing away just slamming your fingers against the keyboard listen up because I'm gonna tell you something that's very important all websites are made from something called tags now tags are pretty much the pieces of a website so for example if you wanted to put a picture on your website you need a picture tag if you wanted to put a link on your website you would need a special link tag if you wanted to create a button on your website then you would need a tag for your button so on and so on so pretty much all a website is is a bunch of little tags combined into something to make you know a complex website so in order to make a tag here's the basic layout of it you press less than and then you write the name of your tag like um, the paragraph tag is P and then you write the greater than sign so pretty much it's a less than sign and greater than sign and something in the middle in this case P for paragraph um, IMG is for image for pictures and anyways you get the idea so let's go ahead and create our first tag now now check it out I'm not going to be going in depth about this first tag, but you need it for every web page. It's a special tag that you only use once per web page, and it's called the doc type tag. Now go ahead, less than and greater than sign, and inside press explanation mark or explanation, exclamation, explanation, whatever the heck you call it. It's above the one. So, anyways, after that, press D O C T Y P E, press space and press HTML. Now again like I said I'm not going to be going in depth about what this tag means it's basically telling your browser what type of document it's trying to look at but anyways it's just a formality a technical thing um, we'll be going back to it later but for now just put it in your file and don't worry about it now go ahead and give yourself some space hit enter and let's go ahead and start typing some real tags that we can understand now the basics of any website is pretty much the HTML tag your entire website is gonna go in between your HTML tags so go ahead and press less than and make a tag that says HTML and press a greater than sign now go ahead and press enter a couple spaces and make another tag that says less than and now you want to put a forward slash and put HTML now as you can see I have two HTML tags slightly different now you're saying alright what the heck is going on well first of all the HTML tag pretty much tells your browser alright browser I'm about to make a website anything I put in between here is gonna be in my website so this tag means I'm gonna start here and this tag with a little forward slash means I'm gonna finish here so that is the basic structure for a beginning and an ending tag it's pretty much less than the name greater than and for your ending it's less than slash the same name greater than so that is a basic HTML tag now anything that goes in here like I said is gonna be part of your website so let's dive in a little deeper every website you see every single web page you've ever been to is made up of two parts the first part is called the body or excuse me the first part is called the head the second part is called the body so what is a head and what is a body the head is where all the browser information goes the technical stuff that you don't see when you go to a web page and this includes keywords for search engines the title of the web page maybe some browser info all this crap it goes into the head now the stuff that you see the pictures the images the paragraphs the text this goes in the body so whenever you say alright I'm gonna make a head in the body you know to put all the technical stuff in the head and all the cool stuff in the body and by the way for these tutorials we're gonna be working with mostly the body because you know we're not worried about search engines and stuff we're worried about how sweet our website looks so anyway so let's go ahead and create a head tag right now so let's go ahead and press less than greater than and inside press head now under it let's go ahead and make the ending head 
and now anything you type in between here is going to be in the head of your web page. So if you remember about 30 seconds ago I said that one of the things that you can put in the head of your web page is the title. So let's go ahead and inside the head between the opening and the closing let's go ahead and make two title tags. Title to open and title to close and make sure you put that forward slash to signify the closing. Now anything you write in between here is going to show up in the title so just go ahead and type this is the title. Now first thing I want to point out is this. I know all I have my I know I have all my tags on separate lines, but you can also let me get rid of that. You can also have two tags on one line. I just put all my tags on separate lines generally to make everything easier to read, but if you wanted to put it on the same line you can. Another thing is that you might notice that everything is kind of going inside one another like a sandwich. Title goes inside head and all this is inside HTML. This is because you need to embed tags within another. You can't have um, you know, HTML head, HTML head, title, HTML, title, HTML. It can't crisscross. Everything needs to be within one another because that way your browser knows alright your title goes inside your head and that entire thing goes inside the web page so if you put this outside the web page you'll be like alright what the heck's going on and you're probably gonna get an error message so anyways that is how you make the head and the title to a website so um, I was gonna teach you guys about the body in this tutorial but I think I'm gonna wait for a next tutorial for that so First, let's go ahead and preview this title and see what we got. In order to save a website, you need to do this. Go ahead and press File and Save As. And when your Save As box pop up, I'm just going to go ahead and save mine to desktop. You can save yours anywhere. Go ahead and name your file Index. Now, Index is pretty much the main name for, you know, it's pretty much the home page. So let's go ahead and save that as index and make sure you don't save as text. What you want to save as is a special file type called HTML. So scroll down until you see something called hypertext markup language. That's HTML. That's pretty much the type of file. It's pretty much the website file. So whenever you're, well, let's go ahead and save this first. And look here's my HTML right here so whenever your computer opens an HTML file it automatically knows that it's supposed to be a website and that your browser is supposed to open this so let's double click this and my browser opens so you can see Microsoft Word didn't open um, Photoshop didn't open your computer knew that this was a website so that's why it took a browser to open it now as you can see we have nothing right now because if I open notepad again you see we don't have a body so that's why we don't have anything all we have is a title and check this out on our website we have a title that says this is the title so we did that by making two title tags and typing this is the title right there so if we change this it says this is the title sucker right there and save this again now when we refresh our page you can see our title changed it this is the title sucker so that is how you create a basic web page with a basic title in the next tutorial what I'm going to be doing is creating the body and actually making some stuff that you can see on the actual web page right here but for now that's all you guys get so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later